people would describe the Stag's Leap District as uh, as Rutherford Day's Carneros Nights. Um, it, 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 it holds on to the fog a little bit longer than the rest of the valley. Um, so you, you end up with a longer growing season as well as uh, you're able to maintain your acidity. But most of what we produce is in the Carneros. Um, this is a very small vineyard, just a four and a half acre vineyard. Whereas in the Carneros, we're farming about 200 acres, uh, concentrating on Pinot Noir, which is half of our production. And then we also work with some interesting white varieties. We are working mostly with aromatic whites, Riesling, Pinot Blanc, Pinot Gris, and Gewürztraminer to make a wine called Abraxas, which is a Vin de Terroir, blend of all four grapes. And then uh, uh, we do a rosé of Pinot Noir, a Van Gria Pinot Noir, which has become our, our cult pink wine. And, um, and then we also do some Bordeaux varieties out of the Carneros, a, um, a Cabernet Franc, uh, a, a Cabernet Franc-based blend of Merlot and Cabernet Sauvignon that we call Marcienne. And, um, and another one that we call POV. So we, we're, we're covering the spectrum. So when you, when you come have dinner here, we can, we can have everything from the, from the first course through to dessert. Primarily Carneros growers, but we ended up with a winery in the Stag's Leap District because the winery we had contracted our grapes to um, um, owed us a little bit of money, and um, and and so they gave us this this parcel. So we're sort of accidentally in the Stag's Leap District, but up here you have water. We had the ability to dig caves, and the caves. Uh, extend back, we have about 18,000 square feet of cave underneath the mountain. And by uh, aging the wine in cave, you don't have to run machinery for um, uh, to keep it cool. Um, our goal here is to be zero net as far as our energy use. Uh, we run a photovoltaic system out over the parking lot trellising. Um, uh, we are in the process of building engineer wetlands. The whole idea is to reduce, reuse, um, and generate it on our own if we can. Um, we're hoping that with the next uh, phase in our construction here that we will achieve our next. We distribute to almost every every state. I believe there are only two states right now that we do not distribute to. Um, we export to um, uh, the Scandinavian countries. We export to Japan. Um, uh, uh, Paul Roger is handling us in the UK. Um, uh, anywhere people enjoy good food, we will be there with good wine. of sitting down at a table with a glass of wine and with friends and with food. And, um, that to me is the reason I'm in this business. When I was a kid, my father used to lean over the table to me with a glass of wine and, and you know, and explain that this is what he wanted to do with his life. And Pinot Noir would become the wine of the future. We started off as growers. And we started with a 15-acre parcel of land in the Carneros. So the whole idea was to pursue Pinot Noir. We had a vineyard that was shutting down early, and in exploring that, we tried to get a shovel into the ground, and we couldn't move the soil. But we found that there was no microbial activity. There was basically we'd sterilize the soil through the use of herbicides. And I just said off the cuff, "Wouldn't it be cool if we were organic?" And so we began very slowly working with the biodynamic principles, revitalize this vineyard. 
we started doing reserve level wines out of it, um, it was just night and day, and to the point where I was able to convince my father, the scientist, uh, that organics and biodynamics made sense when it came to wine. And then we converted the entire operation to it. When we first planted Bordeaux varieties in the Carneros, everybody said we were crazy, that it would never ripen there, and that we were planting the complete wrong variety for the location. And then when we started making this style of wine out of Napa Valley, we figured we were aliens, and Marcian is ancient French for uh, a Martian. We ended up working with aromatic varieties of uh, working with Pinot Blanc, Pinot Gris, Riesling, Gewürztraminer. We make a wine that we call a Braxis, which is a Vin de Terroir, which is a blend of four grapes, Pinot Gris, Riesling, Gewürztraminer, and Pinot Blanc. Um, the idea is that the blend changes with every vintage, so instead of uh, doing chemical manipulation of a wine, we just do a varietal manipulation. We just create the perfect wine for the vintage. White wine, it's much more susceptible to the cork in the sense of uh, imparting foreign flavors, showing if there's any kind of corkiness and, and such. So we've gone to glass caps and boom, that's it. It's a really beautiful seal and again you have nothing synthetic coming in contact with the wine. It's a much, to me it's a much more neutral, pretty elegant way of sealing a wine than a, than a screw cap. But in the French version of Pinot Gris versus the Italian Pinot Grigio, um, has more of a, a pear and almond note to it, which is really quite quite pretty. Um, and it takes on quite a bit of complexity as it ages. But it's also a wonderfully non-cerebral wine to enjoy when it's young. It just it goes with just a broad array of cuisine. Ideally, you should have local products that are working with the local wines. So we grow the figs, uh, you know, my wife does the gougeres, the cheeses are coming from just over the hill. We choose a path where we don't send wine out for review. Uh, so our wines have not been reviewed by the major critics since the 80s. Why should we subordinate ourselves to a critic and all start creating the same style of wine? And we're just seeing what really the wine wants, not what we want, because if we're imposing our will on it, then we're just creating another manufactured product. You know, my father just turned 88, and when he can raise a glass and be proud of, uh, you know, seeing his vision come to fruition, I don't think he could be more proud. Well, if you don't come visit us here, I will definitely come visit you there. <laughs>